Kuala Lumpur's origins went back to the same time as those of Brunswick Heads in 1850, when Chinese tin miners began to work and set up a trading post on the Songhai Lumpur River. It turned into a frontier town. Both places had the same British colonial rulers, many thought. In January 2000, a series of meetings between several Al-Qaeda operatives took place in Kuala Lumpur. It is believed that the September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center in New York were planned at those meetings. The Petronas Twin Towers were the tallest buildings in the world in 1998. Cooper was instructed to go to the Times Square shopping center. He made his way to the 8th floor where he would be contacted. Stepping from the elevator, he was in Cosmo's World, the largest indoor lunar park in Asia. It reminded him of something from Dante's Inferno. Kuba hated funfairs because as a young boy, he had had his clothes splattered with someone's brains when they fell from one of the rides and landed at his feet head first. Through me, you reach the city of despair. Through me, you reach the region of the lost. You who enter here, abandon hope. Howls and sighs and sounds of loud distress, reverberating, shouts of pain and wrath, cacophony, cries shrill and hoarse, the noise of beating hands. Master, what are all these sounds I hear? He was quoting Dante, but a version that had been cut up by the artist Brian Gisson and the beat poet William Burroughs. Agent Cooper remembered it from when he was learning Earth speak English and had to watch episodes of The Simpsons. Homer had quoted this particular version once. Homer, that prince of poetry, he thought to himself. Times Square is a twin tower building with towers 203 metres tall and 48 floors. The fifth largest building in the world, with 7.5 million square feet floor area. 13 of its floors are filled with more than a thousand shops, 65 restaurants and Malaysia's first ever Emacs 2D and 3D cinemas. Gazing out over this vast temple of contemporary consumerism, Cooper was reminded again of Dante as he was being led by Virgil. First, through limbo, where the virtuous pagans live. The second was for those overcome by lust. The third, for the gluttonous. The fourth, where those who accumulated things lived. And the fifth, where the angry and sullen are kept. The sixth was for heretics. And the seventh circle held the violent. The eighth, the fraudulent. And the ninth, the treacherous. And in the very centre of hell was maybe some ice cream, he thought, quoting Homer again. Dante and Virgil escaped from hell by climbing down Satan's ragged fur, passing through the centre of the earth and emerging in the other hemisphere just before dawn on Easter Sunday beneath a sky studded with stars. Cooper remembered how Dante, at the beginning of his journey with Virgil, crossing the river Acheron into hell, had fainted. And as he did, Agent Cooper fainted also. Mm -hmm.